Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we're looking at Big Money, the game of risky rolls and fabulous fortunes. This is from Wonderforge around 2018. Two to five players, ages eight and up. And it takes about 30 minutes to play. So inside we're going to see a game board, a dice cup, six dice, 47 cards, 120 bills, and instructions. They do have a video at wonderforge.com slash big money game. I don't know if that site's still up or not, but you can try it, I suppose. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. I like the reflective nature of the box. That's pretty neat. All four sides are sealed, so they don't go cheap on the tape. Foiling your box is a great way to get me to buy your game. I'm just saying. I love foils. All right, so here's your rule book. There's your bank, etc. It's just a one sheet folded. Nice color. Real nice looking game. At least uh, here, anyway. So it should be pretty cool. Let's just take a look at our board. It says big money on it. Uh, board quality is okay. It's good thickness, but the plastic, or sorry, the coating on here has a very cheap plastic feel to it. So I don't much care for that. Alright, we got a divider here. Here's our cup, our dice, and our cards, and our money. Let's see if anything's hiding under here. Screw you, time stories. Nope. Alright. Yeah, mistakes were made. It's got a little building on here. That's kind of neat. Nice touch, adding something on there. Let's get it out of the way and take a look at our little stuff here. Okay, the denominations are in zillions. So either this is old Zimbabwe money or future American money. I'm not sure. But let's take a look. Ooh, getting these out of the bag is proving to be something of a challenge. Is that one of them? All right. Oh, these are really thin. Yeah, that's that's real thin. All right, we've got denominations of one, five, and ten. All right, give me a minute and I'll count these up and see how many of each are, there are. All right, let's take a look at this dice cup. There are $31 bills, $35 bills, and $60 $10 bills. So be aware of that, especially because they are so flimsy, they're probably gonna get destroyed fairly easily. And how they got this stupid cup in there, I don't know. It says big money on it, so you know what game it goes to. It's actually not too bad it could be on the low end I wouldn't step on it because it would definitely break but it's basically a glorified pencil holder but it's not too bad I'm a little more impressed with this than I am with the money so let's take a look at the dice next all right these are a little nicer We've got five regular die, and then a special one. So let's take a look at our regulars first. We've got one, then roll once to three. Across from the one, we have the six. And then the five across from the three. And then we have four. And across from the four, we have our two. Pretty decent dice. They're a little light. So it's going to take a little bit of use, a little bit of rolling to get used to them. 
if you're a, especially if you're an RPG player, these are pretty light. Now our last die is a special one that has different symbols on it. So let's look up our symbols and what they mean, and we'll look at it. All right, we've got the sports emblem, and directly across from that is travel. It's a little briefcase, supposedly. Then rotate once, and we have food. And across from food, we have a jumbled mess. That one is not in here. This is called the industry die, by the way. I don't know. Oh, that's the piggy bank. It's the biz news symbol. So there you go, biz news. And then we've got this pink one, which is entertainment. It's supposed to be a movie ticket. And across from that is the technology symbol. So that's all six of the dice. Um, th it's okay. They're okay dice. I wouldn't have a problem with it using them for other games. They're easy to read. They are just a little light. So they're going to fly across the table if you try and roll them like they're, you're playing D&D. &D. But otherwise, uh, they're okay. All right, let's get those out of the way and take a look at our cards. All right, so we'll start with Biz News. That's the back. And we have Global Recession. Entertainment Crash. Demerger. Our fourth card is Economic Slump. And then Technology Crash. Bubble Burst. Failed Ventures. Food Crash. Antitrust Fine. Sports Crash. Liquidation. And finally, Travel Crash. All right, then we've got these yellow cards. These are your business ones, I guess. Pro soccer team, $15 zillion. A stock certificate. Opera House. Global Airline. Different stock certificate for a shoe brand. Electric Car Plant. Rock Music Festival. Stock Certificate Cruise Line, Windmill Farm, Stock Certificate Energy Drink Brand, Adventure Thrill Park, Stock Certificate High Speed Railway, A Candy Factory, Stock Certificate Book Publisher, International Spaceport, Grocery Mega Store, Stock Certificate Search Engine, Monster Truck Show, Extreme Snowboard Course, Major Movie Studio, Rotating Restaurant, Stock Certificate Record Label, Private Island Resort, a Stock Certificate for Fan Gear, which would be good if you, you know, Fan Gear is always a good seller. Advanced Robotics Lab, Floating Stadium, Underwater Hotel, Agricultural Dome, Stock Certificate Internet Provider, and lastly, Ultimate Skate Park. Alright, now let's look at the startups.
These are green cards. There's only five of these. We've got High Fashion Magazine. Video Game Studio. Luxury Limo Service. Food Truck Fleet. And Drone Racing League. And that's all the cards. Overall, I would say the cards are okay quality. Not bad, not great. They're just a little thin. Otherwise, they've got nice feel to them. But they're just a little too thin for me. Otherwise, they could be really, really awesome. Okay, overall, the quality's not too bad. It's got a nice glossy box. I'm not a fan of the art. The cards are just a bit thin. And the board has kind of a cheap feel to it. But it's not bad. So if you find this for like 10 bucks, I'm sure it's fine. It says ages 8 and up. I would probably say 10 would be a better age demographic for this. It looks like it plays a little bit like Payday meets a sort of Monopoly type game. But uh, you just basically buy stocks and properties and try and sell them or something like that. So it looks like it's a fine game. Uh, is it going to be a classic? I don't know. Your family might like it pretty well. I think it would be a well-regarded game. Probably not something anybody thinks of as a classic, though. The cards look like they'll hold up okay. They're just a little thin for my taste. The dice are fine. They're just a little light. And the cup is fine. It'll do great for rolling if you can't figure out how to roll dice in your hand. It's better for smaller kids uh, to use the cup, though. And then the dice can shoot across the table like they're supposed to. Overall, I think it's an okay game. It'd be a decent addition to most... Uh, players collections is it going to be an instant classic probably not but it's worth checking out uh, like I said the money is probably the part I would worry about the most because it is so thin it's easy to crumple and fold so that's going to be a problem if you're a perfectionist with your board game collecting so I'd be aware of that and try and get like an extra set if you're worried about the money but, yeah, overall, it's not too bad. It's it's kind of middle of the road. A little above average, I would say. But we've seen what's inside. You've heard my take on it. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.